Hello and welcome back to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI. In this video, we'll take your aircraft on its first flight. To do so, start by watching all of our other videos so you can ensure that your system is updated, calibrated, and you have a brief understanding of the Free Flight 7 application. To begin, we're going to walk through the Sky Controller 4 and show you its functions. Let's start. Let's begin by connecting our smart device to our Sky Controller 4. To do so, use the USB-C cable. Plug it into the USB-C port on the side of the controller. Then, loop the cable through the controller so you can connect your smart device. Once your smart device is connected, you can expand the controller to hold it properly. On the right hand side of the controller we have our power button. To power on, press and hold for 4 seconds. On the left hand side we have our takeoff and landing button and above that our return to home button. The left control stick will control our altitude and our yaw. The right control stick will control our roll to the left and to the right and our pitch forward and backwards. Next we have our camera controls. First we have our optics reset button followed by our gimbal control either up or down. Next we have our record or shutter button and finally we have our zoom in and out. Next on the side we have a USB-C port to connect our smart device. On the bottom of the controller we have a USB-C port for charging and an HDMI out for streaming live video. Lastly on the top of the controller is the antenna. Now that we have an understanding of the Sky Controller 4, it's time to fly your aircraft. Go ahead and find a suitable place to do this. When you arrive on location, open your case and take out the Anafi AI. Then, remove the gimbal lock so that the camera and obstacle avoidance can spin freely. Next, extend the arms and prepare the aircraft for flight. When unpacking your system, make sure you inspect the propellers and ensure they are ready for flight. Now, power on the Anafi AI by holding the power button for 5 seconds. After powering on, you'll hear the Anafi AI's four motors beep. Then the aircraft will complete a gimbal calibration to ensure the camera is ready for flight. Then power on the Sky Controller 4 by holding the power button for four seconds. The system will be connected when the Sky Controller is no longer blinking. Free Flight 7 should ask to be open automatically. Before takeoff, let's complete a check of the Free Flight 7 application to ensure that we are ready for operations. Here we can see we're logged into our Parrot Cloud account and our Pix40 account. We can see that the controller has GPS, both the tablet and the controller are charged to 100%, and the controller itself is updated. In the next block, we can see that the aircraft has 4G and Wi-Fi available. It's connected to GPS. The aircraft's battery is fully charged, and the aircraft is updated. Let's complete a compass calibration. Select the aircraft, then the calibrations, magnetometer. Now, follow the steps as indicated on the screen. Before each flight, pilots must set their return to home functions. They can set to return to the takeoff point, to the pilot, to hover, to land, and at what altitude they will return to home. Press the fly button to get to the heads up display. Here we will do one final check to make sure everything is operating as it should. Keep an eye on the obstacle avoidance. This will change color once we take off. Press the takeoff button on the left hand side to take the aircraft and launch it into a stabilized hover. As we take off, we'll notice that the obstacle avoidance shield will change from red to green. This will indicate that the obstacle avoidance is on and functioning properly. At the top of the screen, we'll also see the distance from the pilot, our altitude above the ground, the percentage of the battery on the controller and the aircraft, and if we're connected in 4G or Wi-Fi. Once in the air, we'll complete a controllability check. To do so, move around one stick at a time and ensure the system is functioning properly. If the controls seem slow, you'll need to adjust them in the presets menu. As you complete the controllability check, you'll notice the obstacle avoidance moving around. If you cannot roll to the left or to the right, it's because the obstacle avoidance is on and it is blind in that direction. We can quickly turn obstacle avoidance on and off from the settings menu in Free Flight 7. Let's quickly talk about the safety features associated with the takeoff button. If the button is pressed by accident, you can press it again to cancel the takeoff. 
Likewise, if it's pressed in flight by accident, you can press it again to abort the landing and return to your position. Once you are comfortable with the flight controls and you have verified the return to home settings, feel free to get some distance between you and the aircraft. Here you can test out the camera functions and see the gimbal move up and down and zoom in and out. Once the flight is complete, it's time to land the aircraft. Press the landing button and use the controls to adjust the landing vector as needed. If you desire, you can also activate the aircraft's return to home function. Just ensure that you set it up properly before you activate this feature. Congratulations on taking your Nafi AI on its first flight. In our next videos, we'll explore the different piloting modes found in the Free Flight 7 application. Thanks for tuning in to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI.